Two women, one from Fargo and another from Moorhead, are preparing for a competition to find the fittest man and woman on earth. The CrossFit Games is a worldwide sporting event that involves various workouts from weightlifting to gymnastics. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop spoke with the women about their journey. Carla Solom and Jessica Grondo are just two of 20 women that will be competing in their region in Columbus, Ohio. The region consists of 11 states. Put it into perspective, Carla and I are two in like 20,000. Um, so that can kind of give a perspective of how rare it is. And we're both coming from Fargo, North Dakota. And we're in the same region of like Minneapolis and Chicago. Jessica is the only person from North Dakota competing and Carla is one of two Minnesotans. I've never looked at it that way. Um, I kind of see this as a representation of um, my gym and my community. I, I plan to wear um, a North Dakota shirt and just kind of like give a shout out to everyone in North Dakota. And Weighted squats, pull-ups, and rope climbing are just a few of the moves the ladies will do. Both have been participating and training in CrossFit for several years. This will be the first time they will compete at this high of a level, which is exciting, but comes with pressure. And I think the biggest thing for me is not wanting to let any of my teammates down or anybody that might be streaming and watching live. Um, but then I have to remember they're just there to support me. About 20 people are planning to travel with the ladies to cheer and support them. But people and businesses in the FM area have been helping them prepare. Both say it will be a challenge, but they are thankful for the opportunity. Have a, a positive mindset the whole time and, and just be grateful to be there. It's all a part of the journey because there isn't really a destination. Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. Now keep in mind, CrossFit is for people of all ages and abilities, and competition is a small part of it. If you want to learn more, click on this story on valleynewslive.com.